Hello again, Ant-Man 200 Abel here. Just bring you a quick look video at this new knife I got. The OKC Cerberus Ontario Knife Company Cerberus knife. Quite an interesting uh, background of this knife and that's part of the reason why I got it. Thinking that if I don't really like it I could sell it on but actually my first impression of this knife is it's a really great knife so for the time being I'll be hanging on to it. Let's show the other side of the knife while I'm here. There, uh, you can see, it says uh, Ontario Knife, USA, made of D2 steel with a G10 handle. Full tang, going right to the back. So, I'll just give you a quick look at the sheath, because uh, the couple of reviews there are on this knife, they show you the Kydex sheath. This one became available, and just had the nylon sheath. Uh, the nylon sheath ones are cheaper, so... This one was available, so I thought I'd get it. The sheath doesn't matter that much for me. On the back, it's got the, the clip with the Molly Pals type setting, so you can attach it to your vest or your belt, that sort of thing. Uh, the belt loop is stitched in here. I would have preferred to see it a loop over with some Velcro or a tab here, so you can just slide it on your belt easier. It's barely two inches wide. I checked it with a, a wide belt. And it's just, it's just wide enough to get a belt through there, so that's okay. Two clips. Interestingly, on this top clip, this is adjustable here. So you can adjust and uh, adjust the tension for the top, top part of the handle. So put that interesting little feature they put on. And here it's got a, some sort of plastic insert inside. And it's cut at an angle, so it fits the slope of the knife. And this will rotate to the other side, so if you could get that plastic out and turn it around, you could then have sort of left belt carry a bit. So the knife slides in quite okay. Just in there, locks in. Just showing you the... So it's held in there pretty firmly, and then you put the top section on as well. Oh, uh, top section on, uh, there we go, put it in properly and held well, quite securely so not a bad sheath overall but the couple of video reviews mentioned just how good the kydex sheet was but so that's good but anyway back to the knife there's only a couple of reviews on it and it seems to be the odd knife out when you look at the Ontario website and all the different knives I have that comes about from its background as I mentioned because I first came aware of this knife when I was looking at through some knife reviews on the internet forum, American Knife Forum, about a Cerberus knife. Someone had bought it and a few comments there. People were very happy with them. And then a person goes by the name of Tuge on the Knife Forum. He's part of Ontario Knife Company. Wrote in and said that they originally developed this knife for American Military Special Forces Unit or group. And the funds ran out or something happened. And so they can decide to continue with it into production and then just sell it off for in the just a commercial world for anybody so that's the way it's come out like this interesting but it's this particular shape it doesn't necessarily bring to mind a military knife as such one video commentator mentioned that it's similar to a french trade knife so somehow that looks like that but it's interesting to know why they military chose this particular design and that sort of thing. So I mentioned D2 steel, but I'll just go through a couple of the dimensions because that's not uh, not such a well-known knife. The blade is just under the 4 inch mark, depends how you measure it. Up to there it's sort of 4.8 inch, close to 5 inch. Actually if you measure it from down the bottom up to there it's pretty close to 5 inch. And the handle is just on the 5 inch mark as well just over so overall just on the margin under 10 inches long altogether surprisingly or at least to the way this designed the handle seems quite long just uh, because there's no gap here so you can put your hand in here I've sort of got medium sized hands and quite a large section of knife so larger hands still quite a bit of knife hanging at the back there so on this knife, because this scallop comes right through onto the blade there, I have trimmed off this point just on the end there. Let me lesson from a little Freeman neck knife, so I can't 
pinch my, can't cut my hand on that, or finger on that little point there, so I can just rub my hand there and it's quite okay. The blade came through more than sharp enough for general use. I put it over my strops just to tidy the edge up and it's dropped it up really nice. Really nice knife. You see these lines on here, on the handle. You'd think that would be some sort of grippiness, but actually it's quite flat. It just looks like there's ridges there, but it's, it's very smooth altogether. Interestingly, for the profile of the handle, it tapers in here, which is some knives have. So your hand wraps around your thumb in there, that sort of thing. It swells out here and then tapers right down. Similarly on there. There's jimping here, but the jimping's recessed into the scales as such, so you see that it doesn't come over uh, the top. You can, I can feel it with my hand, but it doesn't rub as such. Close up with the back of the blade there. The blade has this bit of a swedge on top coming through, so it makes a fairly fine point there on the edge. And um, the coating on here, it says on the Ontario website, was a zinc phosphate type coating. It's very smooth, dark greyish type colour. Looks quite good and on the review, uh, video review where they were chopping bits of wood and stuff, seems to hold up quite well. So it be interesting to see when I uh, try it out to see how it goes. Now just as a comparison, I've got another knife here. So the same blade length, this is my Falcon Even S1 just to show a different design in handles and that sort of thing. So they're both designed as outdoor knives. And um, you can see the blade length here. I'll just line them up here. So the blade length actually is the same. You see there, they're the same. But because the way the finger cut out here. Okay, so overall the knife is pretty close to the same length. Yet when we see on this side the hands move forward a good half inch or so compared so the Falcon even the S1 lines up here and the Ontario service here so there's different in the way it is there so but if we line up where your actual hand goes find that got an extra little bit of reach from the blade back there because your hand lines up with the groove and thereby means that overall oops, so just slide that back but there, this handle effectively is longer. Even though if you line up the two grooves there, it's sort of the same length. But so it's interesting, different design choices that designers have to look at. Similarly here, I so decided to pull out my uh, Schrade knife. So Griffin Design SCS SCHF 42. I suppose people are reasonably familiar with these ones. They came out a couple of years ago. Actually, this one came out a couple of years ago as well. And um, how we know, uh, yeah, this one came out a couple of years ago as well. So, similarly again, you can see the, I'll just line up the blade edges to see that the knife is both basically five inch knives. You can see the difference because you've got a recurve in the shrade and down the straight edge. Yet, if we line up the where your actual hand goes, there's a, there's a difference there, so I'll show it a bit more around this side. See again, the a bit of extra reach for the Schrade knife there, so interestingly, a difference in the price and that as well, so a Schrade knife's um, not too expensive, this one's here a bit more expensive, and then the Falcon even knife, a bit more expensive again, so different designs, different how you, how you might want to use a knife. They're both, they're all three great field knives for sure. But I've just got this one here. The Cerberus knife. So Cerberus, and I have to sort of look it up, is like a three-headed dog that guarded the gates of Hades apparently and in Greek mythology and Hercules had to go and get the dog and bring it back to the Earth's surface and uh, some Greek mythology along those lines. So sort of designed as a battle knife as such they use the but um, interesting for its shape there just as a comparison also size wise 
here's my A1 so just a comparison like thickness of the blade see that the A1's a little bit thicker longer so just size comparison handle wise pretty close the same size but blade wise bit of a difference there for sure I think it's about 3 16 on the blade here pretty close to 3 16 so the Schrade one is pretty close to the same width along those lines the Schrade has a much thicker tip as such and similarly with the S1, I think the S1 is actually marginally thicker in the blade and has a swedge there so you get a pretty fine tip as well so straight knife sheath, basic sheath oh, here, here was the box that came in just the basic box produced here in September September 17, so it's September last year, so it's about 10 months old. Inside just comes with some plastic, a little cardboard cover for the blade, so nothing special about the box. I'll sort of show that to you. So, here's a Cerberus knife by Ontario. Great knife, I'm looking forward to using it. MH20 label. Thanks for watching. Remember, stay prepared, stay alert, stay ready. Particularly in these crazy times we live. Bye bye for now.